Good day and welcome back to the Family Cyber Clinic. This week we're looking at QR codes, quick response codes that many of you have seen around recently. In fact, during the pandemic, when you were able to go into a restaurant, you had to now scan um, a QR code and you soon see what it looks like. But ultimately, the codes that will show you the menu of that restaurant on their website which just meant that you didn't have to touch stuff and all that to keep everyone safe but um as we continue to look for ways to keep you and your children safe we're finding that the rogue has found interest in qr codes needless to say when you imagine what they are able to do with these codes because the codes can be used to access websites to access your wi-fi um, you know, anything, basically data that you want others to be able to get to, you can use QR codes on the app stores of Google and Apple. You're able to download and create these QR codes to make life easy for everyone in a pandemic stricken world, the world that we live in, but the rogue has caught on and they're now, um, redirecting uh, the, the very lovely, lovely people connected to this community and, 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 and otherwise to malware infested sites or to places that you need not or you don't want to be at. And that is something that we frown upon. So we were taking our time to get you to understand that just like we 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 are careful with emails links in emails um you know and sms we're saying do the same thing for qr codes no matter how trendy they now are okay so i'm just going to show you some of the tips that we feel if you you know you, you know use them that you will you will you will not be bitten as you keep Continue keeping safe, even with phishing, smishing, and vishing attacks. We just want to make sure that you're doing the same with QR codes. Okay, so I'm going to go to my phone, and I have it directed on what is called the QR code. Many of you will now remember what this is. So let's go to the phone, okay? So you can see um, on, on the sheet, sheet of paper there, you can see that's a QR code you know, a square thing. And you notice that it says YouTube. If you look at it carefully, you can see that it says YouTube, which should give you confidence that if you click on that, however, or press the button to go to YouTube is going to take you. Let me just, let me just click it. Uh, can I click it? I can't click it because it's, it's a stationary picture. But bottom line is if you click the YouTube button, it will take you to the site. And for me, it's the subscribe button, which is a shame. I wish I could click it so that you would um, be able to scan it. But at least you have confidence that it's taking you to YouTube and not something rogue, okay? So URLs are very important. You see, if I take this one out, there's one under there. And that, that there is also a link. And that will take you to the Family Cyber Clinic don't know what I need to tweak it a bit so that you can see it. It should say family cyber clinic. It's not saying that by now. In fact, that I, I will say that that's dodgy. It should say family cyber clinic like it's saying now. But ultimately, you must verify where you are clicking, where those QR codes are taking you to. Family cyber clinic is the uh, channel's official website. So you feel confident to click that button and you know you're going to a secure area so there are other things that we need to pay attention to which um many may not know you know but you should practice caution when entering login personal or financial information from a site navigated to from a qr code like this one practice caution is the advice there if scanning a physical QR code like the one you're seeing on there, ensure that the code has not been tampered with. 
such as with a sticker placed on top of the original code. The rogue will go that far to just make sure that you are being transferred to a rogue site. The next one will be do not download an app from a QR code. Use your phone's app store for a safer download and that's needless to say it's the best way to go. Now, if you receive an email stating a payment fell from a company you recently made a purchase with and the company states you can only complete the payment through a QR code, call the company to verify that, okay? Locate the company's phone number through a trusted site rather than a number provided in the email. The next advice will be do not download a QR code scanner app. Your phone can do that. Like you're seeing now, my phone is what is showing the familycyberclinic.com on the screen. So you do not need to, to use an app. You may well be downloading a malware infested app. So just stick to your camera app and stay safe. Okay. If you receive a QR code that you believe to be from someone you know, reach out to them through a known number or address to verify that the code is actually from them. We also advise that you should not make payments through a site navigated to from a QR code because, of course, they could be capturing your information. If the rogue has caught, um, got their hands on that on that code, they could be, you know, taking your personal information, your card information and all that. All right. Always scan with the built in camera on your phone because the camera, like you can see now, will show you the link you're going to. All right. And it's 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 not really it's not really rocket science, um, and I don't mean to be disrespectful, but the due diligence that you show on other areas, like your email, your SMS, must be applied whilst engaging with QR codes. If you have a choice, if you can help it at all. Do not use the QR code. Just type in the URL manually and access the information you want to. Okay? Just another video to keep you and the family safe. I've been your host, Lawrence Edem. Until next week, God bless and goodbye.